Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and, uh, yeah. That did nothing. Um, we're back from more Star Trek Elite Force. Giant room. And, of course, I'm going to be the one killing half these guys. Yep. Let's just, uh, run around and, you know, let them do some more chance. Nah, it's not going They're getting hit because these guys suck. Oh god. No, I feel I feel like just using it just so uh, save a little bit of my ammo. Oh, that was nice. Oh, I should just use the secondary on this thing. No, I was trying to do anything else. Oh, let's get some more health actually. If I can. Uh, oh, there it is. There we go. Uh, oh, that's that's a grenade, isn't it? Thank you. Except that takes up some of my ammo that I don't want to waste. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Let's uh. uh how are they not adapted to these? I mean, must be what they get attacked with all the time. Here, let's go down to the pit of death. No, I'm not going with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> it usually usually prevents you from moving to prevent that, but uh, I guess this time it worked. I could probably I could probably make that jump. Uh -huh, you guys can't. Uh huh. I guess I'll. No, I'm probably gonna trigger some script. Now I did. I'll cover this way. You guys can get that other one. Or or you could all like die horribly. Oh, uh, I'm not dealing with that. Uh, let's get some in. There you go, see? I made some use of some of this. Oh, let's go over here. Just so many of them. We need like an iMod, like, grenade launcher or something. Let's, uh... These guys don't. Guys, these guys don't care about anything. Ah. One health. One health. Are you kidding me? Can you heal me? Sir. No way. These Borgs. They're they're not fun to deal with. How could you like? How can we not have a good team medic, honestly? <laughs> I can't heal you during the battle. Dur well, sorry, during non-combat sequences. That would be against protocol. <laughs> of the game. Well, come on, guys. These boards run. Like running zombies. Oh, well, they've adapted. Uh, let's see what other gun I have. Really? Already? Yeah, let's just run around. Uh, we're gonna need to get more ammunition. There we go. Oh god. I hate you, Borg. Oh my god. I'm getting out of here. Me and Seven will do this. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll Borg, okay. Ooh. <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah, this is why you have to quick save. Back in the day, that would be your shape point. 
Oh dear god, Drot. Oh my god, they're all in the way. <laughs> and it has to load it all back up again. These guys know nothing about squad tactics. Alright, uh, let's go this way. Okay, okay, over here. Come on, come on, seven, 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 seven. Yep, we're going to be over here. Seven can go deal with them. I mean, they are her kind. Oh my god. Just... Stop! <laughs> it doesn't look right. It very, feels very awkward. Alright. This is the stupidest Borg I've ever seen. You know, granted they could've just pulled this off much better. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, I guess we solved that one. Just keep going this way. I don't really want to hang out with them. Oh, thank you, health. Oh, thank you, that thing. Hey, look, it's uh, the primary sub something. I don't know. They'll, they'll explain it with some highly technical babble. Then you'll know what it is. Alright, guys. I've unlocked it. What the hell? <laughs> They're just uh, Steve and Bob in the corner there. Species 8472 is from the TV show. Well, they double crossed us before. That may be so, but the Isodesian is beyond the area of infestation. We would have had to go for it anyway. Still, I don't think this is a good idea. I don't trust Hulu. That's enough, Jurat. Yeah. Don't worry, Juliet. I got it covered. 
Borger are friends. Well, apparently it's uh, seven us less, or she knows the special Borg passcode. One, two, three, four, five. Out with these weapons? Species eight four seven two can regenerate pretty fast. Since our last encounter with species eight four seven two, I have modified our weapon designs to be effective against them. Yeah. Um, Basically, they're a complete pushover compared to what they were, if you ever watched the TV show. Um. It, yeah, that's it. Um, completely melee, and they fade out. This is the most anticlimactic enemy ever. Whoa. Let me go up there. Uh, nope, wait. I can maybe jump up there. Nope, seven of nine. God damn it. I, I kind of want to just jump. Maybe I'll have to jump on one of their heads and then. No. Okay, and. Nope. <laughs> Come on, I want to go there. Yeah, you can't jump up your, your uh, comrades' heads. Ah, uh, darn it. Oh, the you have a giant machine gun. Don't you handle every day. Are you still using iMods? Hold your fire. Well, shut up. God damn it. <laughs> Don't tell me to hold my fire. There's a lot of them. Yeah, the thing is that in the TV show, what, like, one or two of them? I remember the episode. They, like, they rip people apart and stuff. And look at this. They're, like, complete pushovers. They, they hurt you for, like, five damage. Maybe. The biggest disappointment about this game is them, pretty much. Uh, otherwise, I really like the game. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, I, they were supposed to be scary. And, uh, I guess they really couldn't without, like, making it completely difficult for people. But, you know, come on. I would have liked a better weapon. Uh, how's the iMod do? Ah, uh, it's complete crap. Guess I should get more health. Judging by how high exp I prematurely exploded a grenade. Ah, uh, I hate this game. <laughs> oh look, no, that did nothing. The greatest threat so far is myself. I just fire in this one direction. Oh, oh. oh, that hurt too much. Okay. Before it reloads me into a place that uh, I wouldn't really want to go. Just can't use that. They're Malay. So. There's just so many of them. This is the best weapon just to mow them down with. Oh, this, this, this does work in, in some degrees. Uh, I guess. Where do they appear from? I don't know if that's their teleportation or something. I don't, I don't know anything about them actually. Your weapons and equipment for damage. What? <laughs> Why? This is not the moment for that seven. <clears throat> I feel like it's Borg. Okay, you'll handle the one guy in the back there, and I'll just, you know, get everything moving forward. Oh, wait, I actually didn't use this at all. They are such a pushover. I, I killed four of them with my fa with the most basic weapon. Oh. Is this a 
Yeah, it's funny that much. Oh, we'll get them all. It's so sad how they're just such a pushover. And <laughs> the rest of them just patiently wait. Oh boy. The Borg apparently had a problem with this. Let them handle that. It's cool, it's uh, health. Now Monroe is the hazard too. Let's just let's just be honest here. Thanks for popping in. All right, come on, guys. Yep, walk slowly. I know you're scared. I'll hold your hand as I have been doing through the entire thing. All right, ammunition. This is their breeding ground. Clean it out. Yeah, they're they're like directly behind me, so I I have to be in front of them. I'm like I'm like the team tank. Hey, that's the museum. Hold your fire. You will be assimilated. Wait a minute. We negotiated. We had a deal. You will be assimilated. I knew it. Why does this not surprise me? Oh crap. <laughs> I didn't know I'd have to face them again. I thought they can't communicate. <laughs> He's not happy with me. Dude, look at look how they're all going after me. Well I guess they figured out what the who the real threat is. Oh, we are so dead. I have no weapons to kill them with. None of this works. Oh my god. I hate you. I hate you, team. Oh my god, this is horrible. Yeah, just time to run around in circles. Yep, I really can't do anything. I should have saved some of my ammo, I guess. It's a good thing, like. Wait, only one of them has an eye mod. I can do is just dance around. Oh my god. Not more of them. And they all go after me. That's because the guy is running around. Yeah, two of them I've got in my wads. Get the last one. The grand launcher may have worked, but, you know. Yay, we did it. We've recovered the isodesium and are ready to beam out. Beam myself and the isodesium directly to engineering. Acknowledged. Initiating transport. Hold still on the teleport there, buddy. Oh, well, we won't hear from them again. Seven of nine beam directly to engineering with the isodesium. If Lieutenant Torres is correct, Voyager should have power restored within a day or two. The hazard team has proven itself to be a valuable asset. You are all off duty until further notice. Mr. Monroe, I must commend you and your team on the rescue of Lieutenant Foster. He is in sick bay and is likely to recover. You all have some holodeck time. I suggest you use it. <laughs> You know what we do on our off hour? We shoot shit. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> it's not like you go to like some relaxation program. It's like, what is Monroe like? He likes to shoot crap. Hey Monroe, this is great. We're finally gonna get out of here. 
I really thought we were stuck here forever. Okay. So I hear you did okay even without me. You got lucky. We shot everything. We needed you. Hey, Alex. Meet me in the mess hall after you're done with the holodeck, okay? All right. Sure. Hey, Monroe. Nice save, Foster. <laughs> Doc said he should recover okay. I never got to see any action myself, but I guess there's always next time. Yeah, you don't... We don't actually know you, you're not a main character, so if, if you get action, you're probably gonna die. Excuse me. Is something the matter? Okay, I can't, clearly can't talk to him. Hey, buddy. Hey, I've got a new training program for the holodeck. It's for testing the new personal photon torpedo launcher. Here, check it out. Oh, yeah. I got a photon torpedo launcher. Okay, so we're doing some program. How do they have these weapons ready? So you get like homing torpedoes too. And since they don't dodge, it's pretty much the easiest mission ever. Oh, I missed you. Again. I wonder if I can just jump into the lava. Probably shouldn't. Yep, got him. It's kind of a fun gun. When they cluster up. I, I guess it's it's basically rockets. This is, by the way, also a CTF map, uh, that they decided to use their multiplayer maps for the, um, I don't think I, oh, there we go. I'm like, I'm like, I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna be boned. But, no, I got, I got additional weapons here. And apparently absolutely nothing here of any interest. I'm going to need more ammo. Oh, cool, it's up here. Oh, uh, this is this is this is as I said for the map. Uh, I'm guessing there'd be some item up there, some power up. Just kill the rest of these guys. Uh, we don't get any ammo with this. That's why it's my favorite gun, almost. These things kind of suck. Well, there is a really good one that uses the power thing, it's the next one we'll get. Well, we'll get that in a minute. Well, not in a minute, but you know, we're, we're actually a fair bit into the game. Hey, now we can do another uh, thing to kill everyone on the ship. Alright. <laughs> These men, no. <laughs> Holy it's a massacre. Uh oh, my ammo. It's not fair. Just take me out. <laughs> I don't think we'd see these men or anything. I don't know what you were thinking, Anson, but you'd better straighten up or you might be spending a lot more time in here. What, you mean you, you could actually get <laughs> get out of the jail for, uh, get out like, oh, you killed, um, the 15 crewmen with a photon torpedo launcher, but, uh, we'll, uh, we'll let you get off early on good behavior. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's, uh, meet whatever her name is. I'm just gonna, like, run in with my gun at, like, yeah, here. Yeah, that's exactly. See, uh, I was completely right, though. Uh, that's exactly what they do on their spare time. Oh, actually, I was supposed to go up to the mess hall. Sorry, that's deck two. Once again, I questioned the, the use two. of legs. Mess hall. There's teleporters. <clears throat> oh well. I'm really glad I did this game. I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Oh, you you don't get the torpedo launcher. Oh, that sucks. I want my money back. I think my quarters are here somewhere. Ensign Alexander Monroe. There. Access granted. Hey. He likes. He likes rugby? He 
he's a rugby player. I like how they also have the little uh, badges. You know, they're playing stuff. What? What's this? Vulcan Love Slave 3? What the hell is that? Okay. Um, Monroe has some interesting tastes in, uh, in his literature, I can see. Hey, we're here. Hello, Ms. Murphy. What can I get for you today? Hmm. How about some Tarkalian wine? Excellent choice. Oh, some wine, huh? Got some cheese with that. Hey, Alex. Hi, Telsia. Looks like we're pretty much out of the woods now. I guess. Tuvok sounded pretty pleased. I guess he's warmed up to you some. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, he just has to get to know you better. You know, a couple of times there, Commander, I really Anson, thought you might not make I it. Can get you. Thanks I'm so glad much. you did. I'm fine. Thanks. No, no, this is Me great. too. What is it? Pie. Mmm. Uh, what kind of pie? Oh, just pie? What kind of pie? Lorinax Grub Roach Pie. Have a nice meal. Ugh. A little more adventurous than you intended, Tom? A little? But you liked it. So Bolana says so... the Isodesium is working perfectly. I was wondering. So, how's the Tarkalian wine? Sure the only one I was told 2245 was a excellent eater. I hear you. Oh, uh, yes, it's good. Thanks. You interrupted us. Well, I have to go take a shower. See you later, Alex. All right. See ya. You have a good one. Hey. Ah, Anson. I heard you've become quite the hero. It must have been fascinating. The Ethereans, those strange scavengers, and, and those pesky Borg. If you ask me, you're in line for a promotion. Well, you know, judging by the skills of everyone else on this ship, uh, I guess so. Uh, you're sure you don't want anything, Mr. Chen? I'm fine. See, he's emo. Hey, I'm not so sure it's such a good idea to get complacent just yet. Right. Liz. Can't talk right now, sorry. Hey, excuse me. Yeah? That's some dude. Hey, excuse me. Good work, Ensign. Your team really pulled through. Why, oh, thank you. Tom. Hey, Monroe. Nice work on the Borg ship. We all owe you one. Where's Bees gone? <laughs> I miss him. Gerard. Yes, Monroe? I sound so happy. Hey. Whenever when I talk to her. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Right, nothing here? Nope. Okay. Guess I'll take a shower too. Is this a shower? Where's my toilet? What kind of bathroom is this? Damn, I guess I guess if I need to take a crap, I'm shit out of luck. <laughs> this is the worst room ever. the bathrooms on this ship. Okay, well. I guess you don't go anywhere. You know, I probably don't want to find a room and stumble in on her on taking a shower. You know, I'm running out of things to do. Tom. Hey, Monroe, I'm kind of busy here. I'm supposed to Liz. probably talk to someone. Can't talk right now, sorry. Hey. Can't you see I'm working? Michael. Sorry, I'm kind of busy here. <laughs> Excuse me. Alex. Gerard. They're all kind of busy. Yes, Why are they all like Yes, Monroe? God. Excuse me. I don't know where to go. Austin. What? Wow, I can't do anything. Uh, I guess I'll figure it out. Oh, there we go. I don't see anything. Out there. Debris. See it? Hey, yeah. I see something moving way out there. No, that's debris. No, it's getting closer. Look. You're right. What do you think it is? I don't know. It looks like some kind of ship. Doesn't look friendly. The harvesters. All senior personnel report to the conference room. Monroe, you better come too.
Well, I guess we're all screwed. Does anyone have any idea what this thing is? I believe I do, Captain. The most logical presumption would be that the Forge has sent a harvester to disassemble Voyager. I was afraid that's what you were going to say. Combining the records Seven retrieved from the Borg ship with my own sensor scans, I would concur with Seven's appraisal. Wait a second. Didn't one of those ships tear up a Borg cube? Yes. The Harvesters appeared to attach themselves to the stranded ships and use massive claws to literally tear the ships apart. The Harvester aliens, meanwhile, invade the ship and plunder equipment and crew. The effect is utterly devastating. Great! Thanks for the pep talk. Balana. How soon will we get the warp drive and defense systems back online? Not soon enough, Captain. The Isodecium is helping, but it's still going to take several more hours. I'm open to ideas. Anyone? I thought I saw something in the Ethereum's records about some sort of gunship that's stranded here, too. Yes, the technology is consistent with that of Species 1567. They were engaged in a long-range war in which they sent out giant automated gunships called Dreadnoughts to destroy enemy outposts. They possessed impressive firepower. Sounds like a giant cannon on autopilot. Essentially, yes. If we can board it, aim it at the Harvester. We can blow the Harvester away before it reached Voyager. Presuming we could operate it. However, my scans indicate that the ship does still have power. Life signs. None detected. I can't see any better option. Tuvok, you and Monroe put together a plan for the hazard team. But fast, we don't have much time. Alana, do what you can to get our defenses up faster. I'll do my best, Captain. Dismissed. The Dreadnought appears to be essentially a giant automated weapon of mass destruction. There are only a few identifiable areas of the ship. This front area seems to be the control section. There is a barrel section 700 meters long. 700 meters? The rear sections seem to contain the ammunition, power, and propulsion systems. Our objective will be to reach the control section and fire the weapon at the harvester ship. How do we know this thing still works? We do not. We have detected an active power source and the vessel does not seem to be significantly damaged. In fact, we believe the weapon has never been fired. However, as our sensors can barely penetrate the ship's hull, it is difficult to ascertain the weapon's condition. How long do we have before the Harvesters get here? Approximately three hours and 47 minutes. Not much time. We might have caught a break on this one, though. As you can see, we've found a tear in the hull. Whatever did that could... We should be able to transport directly into the ship through this breach, saving us the time of having to shuttle over. From here, it's only a short stroll to the control center here. Myself, Chang, Telsia, Chell, and Satlos will beam in and escort Tuvok to the control room. Sounds like pretty heavy escort for a derelict ship. We're not going to take any chances with this one. If all goes well, once we get Tuvok to the control room, he'll fire the weapon at the Harvester, and there will still be a Voyager to come back to. Any questions? Good. Gear up and report to the transporter room. Dismissed. Okay, that's it for today, so see you guys later. Bye.